Hey folks, today we're going to go over the 17s. So we're going to have a series of oxidation half reactions and reduction half reactions. Our goal is to see some of the trends that go along with an oxidation half reaction or a reduction half reaction um, and start to understand how to cancel out charges where electrons are found and we're going to use all the information on the following sheets. So the first question is what is the total charge on the reactant side? I look over here, I have H2O, I don't have any charges there. So there's zero for a charge above H2O. I look at H2S, there's no charge on this. So what is the total charge on the reactant side? We have a zero. We're not doing oxidation numbers on this worksheet. Or I should say we're not doing oxidation numbers on this type of problem. What's the total charge on the product side? Well, here we have H2SO4, there's no charge on that. Here we go to eight hydrogen ions. Each one has a positive one charge. So the total charge right here is eight positive. You have to add electrons to the more positive side to make both sides the same charge. So over here on the reactant side, we have zero for a charge. Over here on the product side, we have an eight positive for a charge. So we have to add electrons to the side that's more positive to make both sides the same charge. Well, if there's an eight positive on this side, we're gonna have to add eight electrons. And to what side will they go? They'll go to the product side. And we're gonna need them write, write those in. So I would add in eight electrons to this side. And now both sides have an overall charge of zero. So there's a pretty review of what we just did. We'll do one more problem and then I'll set you loose on doing the rest of the 17s. So what is the overall charge on the reactant side? Pause the video, see if you can answer all these questions first, and then I will go over them. So what is the total overall charge on the reactant side? Well, right here we have two of these CR3 positives. So that's a six positive right there. H2O doesn't have a charge on it, so that's zero. So on the reactant side, we have a six positive. What's the overall charge on the product side? Well, here we have one of the Cr2O7s with a two negative charge. So this is a two negative charge right here. And here's 14 positive charges. So 14 positive, two negative, that's a 12 positive. It says you have to add electrons to the more positive side to make both sides the same charge. So we don't have to make both sides to zero. We just have to make both sides to the same charge. So here we have a six positive, here we have a 12 positive. I need to make these the same charge. So I'm gonna add six electrons. And to what side? They're gonna go on the product side. So if I add in six electrons here, whoop, gotta put a six there. I add six electrons onto that side. Now both sides have the same charge. Now what we're starting to realize is that in an oxidation half reaction, the electrons are found over on the product side. In a reduction half reaction, we're gonna have the electrons found over here on this side. That's one of the trends I want you to start to notice as we're going along. So go ahead, finish up the rest of it. Have a good day.